one is going to be looking at the Merton Abbey Railway that we've been building for over eight years and we're really, really, really excited. So me and Gunnar are going to go into the room, going to explain a few things what's happening and when it was made in and when it was created. So that's what we're going to be doing. Hope you enjoy. This is the, um, the room. So going into the room, this is exactly what it looks like. We've got the entire railway with Grandad inside. So yeah, um, as you think, it just takes a really long time to like make it, guys. And the, the amount of like detail we get from the shops and like the amount of money we spend on like the railway that we've been building, like this railway has been very very new, like and um, so most of the other things have been made. So we we have been um, spending like quite a lot of time on this railway, and we've been just absolutely amazed by um, our complete job that we've done on the Merton Abbey Railway, which I think looks really 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 incredible. And I really Really do hope you think it's too. So this is uh, Merton Abbey O gauge railway, but before that I had a double O gauge railway, and before that I had an N gauge railway, which is very tiny, just like that little engines. So the O gauge is the biggest you can really get inside a house. Otherwise, you have to put it out in the garden if it gets any bigger. And it's taken me eight years to build all of this, and I build my own locos, and carriages, and trucks and all the scenery and buildings and we're going to take you on a tour and show you all of those details. Merton Abbey Station so really the station Merton Abbey has been here for a really really long time we have actually really really put a lot of detail into it I did my first video called Luke Vid Right here, which is the sidings that connects outside of Merton Abbey Station, where this little mini turret and um, the lower turret, turret train is right there with this little wagon that we got um, quite a long time ago. This little carriage. Also, not to forget the station, which is outside, which is the old station, which was cranked out. Which we really like the idea of the station called Woking. We really, really wanted to do that. And I've got some of the posters of Grandad when he was a little boy and a little bit more of things which is like kind of coming around about Merton Abbey Railway Station. This Merton Abbey Railway Station has been here for quite a long time as we first experienced the Merton Abbey Railway Station. All of these posters have been put up as in the most famous and popularity of our Merton Abbey Railway Station which we have been doing for a really really long time. And moving on to what we're going to see right behind the video camera is something that we've been up working on for a really really long time time we've been working on the Merton Abbey sign and that has been um, out of school time so I've had to miss a bit of school trying to do this up with granddad and doing a few uh, doing a few videos on it which will be out in the future as you can see this Merton Abbey Railway sign is a really 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 lovely sign and yeah it's been really made for a very very long time as you may know it's just a really really good sign and we, we just really really liked it so we're gonna now go back into the studios with me and granddad Okay, so uh, the railway took a long time to build, but I built it with Train Boy. Of course, he was very young then, but he still knew all about trains. And um, we've made it uh, computerised with DCC, so we can run any mounted trains all on one track and control them all differently with sound, and they really go well. So um, I've got lots of dinky toys for cars. Uh, Station buildings I've made. I made Wimbledon Station Building, Merton Park, and Merton Abbey. I've made all my own signals, all the scenic things, trees and hills. We've even got sheep at one point on this layout. So um, we've got just about everything. And it's all based on Merton Abbey in 1949, when I was actually only four years old. So as you know, Wanda just said his um, explanation, but it is completely true. It was a bit difficult for me to like build up the railway and make people come in and like see all that we've um, done with the railway. And yeah, it's just kind of really difficult to get all of it done. Like you're always taking time off what you're trying to do in your real life, and you're like coming over to your grandparents' house, and like sometimes you like 
up and do the railway and things like that and then like loads of fame and like loads of people coming to our house and looking at it and we're like really famous and like on magazines with our railway so it's, it's got that big build up for the, the gigantic railway because we are famous because we are definitely in a magazine and loads of sorts of things like that so yeah we're just kind of like thinking about that and we're just we're just very proud of exactly what we've done Mutton Park so you see here we've got a very good close up of the Merchant Park railway station and it involves quite a lot and we have done a very lot of detail on it. Uh, okay so uh, Merton Park level crossing actually I lived right just around the corner from there and it is a real level crossing. In fact there's a photograph of it just up there. And it now also occurs into this little bit of a tunnel which then comes out into Wimbledon railway station which was back there in the olden days. You might have seen the new changes to Wimbledon station because we nearly go there every single day of our lives. So you may know it took loads of time to like get all the material bits and things like that. Like we were making videos about it like before I came to the YouTube channel the video, the last video like was about like with the new sound, like how did the sound work on the railway line and like kind of based about um, how just amazing it is and then and then just in the past few years we just actually space out what we've done and then we just build it up together make a video about it it's just we've done some really good detail onto it and then like most of people come to our house and i see our railway and it's just it's been in the railway model hut i think a bit over there um merton abbey maybe a bit of Wimbledon, maybe merton park so yeah and Dutton junction so i think i think overall it's just a very like great railway line to like um to see an experience yeah, so uh, we have had it published in the Railway Model in November 19, uh, 2017 and uh, there's five pages of it and I wrote a story for it, all the words, and somebody came and took all the photographs from Railway Modeler. So if you're interested, get the November 2017 Railway Modeler. So that's just about on the time today and um, we've experienced quite a lot of good things about this. Um, so yeah, um, keep up to date and see us um, later on the website.